Okay, I'm here with uh, Ian from Handy Daddy. Uh, welcome to his channel. Uh, my name's Mike. I'm having some car issues. 2000 and, what was it, 2017? 15. 15, 2015 Ford Flex. And uh, one of the issues that we've been having, it sounds like Ian has done some research on, um, kind of, it's kind of like a known issue is, anytime my wife will be below a quarter tank, it'll sputter or almost like it dies out. Or if you get really low on gas, where you know maybe 10 miles, do you got to fill up? You put gas in it, and then you go to start it, and it kind of has like a delay start, and then even accelerating just has like this this putt. So once you would fill up, my wife would go to red light, and then it would accelerate, and then pretty much almost completely die, and then it was kind of like putter, and then take off again, which is very very dangerous. So that's why I decided to come to Handy Daddy to take a look at my car, at my wife's car, and my car, and see what you can do to fix it. So he kind of discovered a couple of things that was wrong with it. Yeah, so first and foremost, the check engine light is on, or what we call the money light. So we plugged in the OBD2 scanner, and it gave us a bunch of codes. We're going to show that to you in a minute, and which pointed us to the, uh, the, the purge valve, which is very easy to replace. It's right on top of the engine. And money light. Money light. <laughs> Is it called a money light because it costs money every time the light goes off? Yeah. Okay. I just learned something. <laughs> you guys learned something on Handy Daddy. All right. So uh, this is our OBD scanner, and it's plugged into the OBD port, which is underneath the steering column. And we're just going to do a basic um, OEM diagnostic. So. The OBD scanner identified that this is a 2015 Ford Flex. We have a few fault codes here. Um, we're going to ignore the accessory code fault and the driver seat module um, error code. We're just going to focus on the power train control module code here. And we're going to read it. And it's telling us that it's the P144A. P1450, P2196, and P2198, which tells us that the sensor signal stuck to reach on bank 1, sensor 1, and bank 2, sensor 1. So if you look that up on the internet, it'll tell you, it'll point you to the purge valve, which we're going to um, replace right now. And all of these other codes are most definitely related to that particular part. These are um, um, supplemental codes, if you will. So let's go to the hood and replace the part. So we have the replacement part here for the purge valve. And um, we're going to include the part number and the link on the description down below. This is a, an original Ford Motorcraft part, and which I highly recommend that you get. You can get um, a replacement part, uh, which is made by Dorman and all these other uh, brands uh, from your local parts store. However, if you look at the reviews, they'll tell you um, that it's not. Just just go with OEM. It's always the best. Perfect. Okay. Grab a looks like a an eight millimeter socket. Okay, I'm just gonna loosen that up. So again, that's an 8 millimeter socket. There's two connectors, one for your electrical. There's a part here that you press and pull. This other one you press and push that way. And the whole thing should come right off. Okay, easy. So. Install this. This is your new part. Let's go, Morris. And it just falls right into place. Put back the two screws. Just snug them. Remember, you are screwing into a piece of plastic on the intake, so don't go crazy. 
just snug it. If you go too tight, you'll probably crack it. Is that what you're trying Absolutely. to say? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Good advice. All the way in, push the green locking tab till it snaps. Reconnect your electrical plug and give it a good tug and that's it. You are done. No! God, please, no! 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 It was so easy. I could have done that, Ian. I have no idea. I have no that you could have. I drove five hours to see you for <laughs> this. This is awesome, though. Well, I'd like to think that you also wanted to hang out with true. me and Thomas, who's off camera. That is very, very true. All right. Should we just fire it? Sorry. It wouldn't do anything if I fired up an elk, right? Yeah, I wouldn't do anything right now. All right. That's it. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And remember to click like and subscribe and also head on over to the Yes We Can Outdoors channel and check out his content on backpacking, gear, and nice places to go backpack.